Hello all you fellow bananas and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course. Now, this is actually a mod for a mod. I know that it's a lot for you guys to take in. Um, since it's the 4th of July, I decided... Really, I, I just decided to play this. I don't know why. Now, let's start the hazard course. Alright, now we're in. Temperature is 79 degrees. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. at Sector A training facility. Please stand back from the automated door. All right, now we're finally into the game. This is not made by the official Crowbar Collective development team. This is actually made by a separate modding group. Uh I'll post the link to the mod I'll post the mod DB link in the description below. Still got the vending machines, as I can see. Grape, yum. Gotham. Tom. What? Customer. Oh, hey. Sorry about that. I, uh, it, it's a good read. Uh, you're Dr. Freeman, right? We were told to expect you. Dr. Freeman, we've been waiting for you. Uh, don't worry, I'm sure you hit some traffic in the middle of the desert. At any rate, welcome to the Black Mesa Training Facility. Things have been in a state of commotion lately, but we're glad you're here. The administrator's enhanced security training program, the contractors offered a very Those air quote animations. Has <laughs> course. Finally got that right. Hello, and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended in the next room. Not even gonna make a Freeman's Mind reference there. I'm disappointed in myself. All right, let's get on with it. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement. Well, I can still walk. That's good. I wouldn't want my legs to be frozen. So, I see you did your PhDs at MIT. Very impressive. Oh, just the one. Uh, good job. At any rate. Like something a two-year-old scratched together. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will try to run and jump over this set of pipes. Watch me, then try it yourself. Now this is one of the uh, the air quote explanations for what they did in the original Half-Life. Good work. Those suits can be tricky for a few years. You will need to duck and stay low to clear the next set of pipes. Moving while crouched will also minimize movement noise, making you harder to hear. Good work, Gordon. You're quiet as a church mouse. We will now 
Combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. Good work. Ready for the next room, I say. By the way, if anyone wants me to do um, a video on HL2RP, just comment about down below. Sometimes you'll need to get extra height in order to get over an obstacle or into a tight space. Try jumping forward and pulling your legs up mid-air to clear the obstacle. It's tricky at first, but you'll find it comes in handy. Watch me and then try it yourself. Climbing ladders in your suit may be a bit tricky. Take some time to practice it here. I can't believe they still think we need to teach people how to use ladders. Oh, God. I was bad at this in the original Half Life, so I'm probably going to be bad at it here, too. First time I've done it. One more style of jumping you need to learn requires its own module seen here. When wearing the module, you will be able to activate it to give your jump extra horizontal movement. When you're at the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Wow, I missed that. That's like the easiest thing in the whole course. Now this is the point where they should have had the weapons training. They moved a little bit ahead. If you can't. 
can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling or lifting it. Move these crates to clear your path and get onto the I always loved doing this in the original Half-Life. If nothing else works, you might try alternate means of removing the obstacle. Pick up the crowbar on the table and pry open the large crate. Well, well, By the way, impulse 200 to lower your weapon. Turn your suit's flashlight on for this next area and use it to navigate the path. If you fall, locate the ladder and try again. Don't get used to taking shortcuts like that around here. Rechargeables when we issue your suit. Auxiliary power shouldn't be a problem any time in the next decade. Ah, I almost forgot the weapons training. Accidental on. Welcome to the Black Mace. Uh, one moment. Control. Control. Can someone please explain to me why this guy looks like an orange tank? As planned. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, one HEV scientist coming in. Hello, trainee. Uh, oh, uh, doctor. You're about to be dispensed a standard issue 9mm pistol and ammunition. So, yeah, you caught me a bit off guard. Uh, I can see that you aren't exactly supposed to be here today, but... Uh, you know, whatever. Hey, you're scheduled for it. They're paying for it. So, let's make the most of it. Alright, I'll teach you how to use some of my cool toys. There are three rules on my range. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to shoot. And always keep the gun unloaded until ready to use. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and load it now, though, because we're about to begin. Hold your weapon in a two-handed grip. Both thumbs forward, feet shoulder width apart. Put seven rounds in the center ring of each target. Hey, not bad at all for a first time shooter. Ready. 
Third bag. You don't even know. Ah, welcome back. You learned something about security duty? Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen. Yeah, I think I get the idea. unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, you can step up to any charger to charge your suit gradually until the charger is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. Designed for that. I also wonder if you can actually turn off the power. Proximity to radiation activates 
your suit's Geico counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also displayed with a luminous icon. Don't worry, that suit is properly shielded in all the right places. And this is a very low dose for demonstration purposes only. The marker chemicals are probably just as radioactive as what we've allowed through. Even so, don't worry if your vision blurs a bit. Yes, that's perfectly normal. demonstrated, the HEV suit is more than capable of keeping you safe from any and all forms of damage. Please use the elevator to your right. <laughs> 